It seems everything's going up in price these days. Even a trip to the local Chinese takeaway has become really expensive. So what can we do about it? Well, I'm going to show you how to have a taste of the takeaway right here in your own kitchen. It's time for my special fried rice on the One Pot Chef. we're ready to put together our gorgeous fried rice. Now we're starting with a wok, obviously. If you don't happen to have a wok, if you've got a fairly deep fry pan, you can use that as well. Now the first rule of anything to do with wok food is make certain your wok is very, very hot. Don't ever try to cook in a cold wok. Now I put a little bit of vegetable oil in here and we're gonna start out by putting in one chopped spring onion. So, Oh, you can hear that sizzle already. Lovely. And to that, we're going to add maybe two to three rashes of bacon, which I've just chopped up nicely. Oh, now it's sizzling. Now, before we get started, I understand this is not a traditional Chinese version. I'm not Chinese and I don't didn't learn from any sort of traditional Chinese cooking masters or anything. This is just my version, a quick and easy version. So we're just going to stir fry these two for a couple of minutes and then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Oh, the smell of this is fantastic. And you can see the bacon is starting to brown up a little bit. So we're going to continue. We're going to add in some boiled rice. Now, I made the rice the night before. That's usually the best way to do this because if you use freshly cooked rice, it tends to get a little soggy and mushy. Uh, this has been in the fridge overnight. There's no exact measurements. This is actually one and a half cups of uncooked rice which has been boiled, so it's about three cups. I'm adding about half, and I'll add the other half in a second. We're just going to sort of slowly mix it together, and then we can mix through the rest. If you try to put it all in at once, it tends to get a bit messy. There we go. The rest can go in there. Might have a couple of lumps where the rice is sort of clumped together. You just press them out with a spoon. You can hear that sizzling, you know this is going to be good. Anything that sizzles is good. Now, next is two eggs which I've just quickly beaten and turned into an omelette. So I've just chopped up into little pieces. That can get stirred through as well. Wow. And I'm also going to toss through some, here's where I get complaint letters, some mixed frozen vegetables. I've got about a cup and a half of peas, carrot and corn. Now the reason I'm using frozen vegetables is A, it's quicker because they're beautiful and they also have a lot more nutrients than what they call fresh at the shops because these things have been freshly frozen, snap frozen the second they've been picked. So they haven't been hanging around in a warehouse or in a fridge or anything like that. They're actually, everything's locked into them. So it'll be nice and yummy and delicious. And because this is getting wok fried, it won't take too long for them to defrost and cook. And we're also going to be adding something which is absolutely fabulous, is some tinned baby prawns or shrimp. Now, you can of course use fresh if you prefer, but the advantage to using the tinned ones or the canned ones is that these little ones will absolutely break up and turn into these gorgeous pink coral flecks of flavour all through it. So you might get a few that stay whole, but most of them will just dissolve into the rice and turn into this absolutely fabulous, delicious seafood, sweet, salty, delicious meal. It's absolutely fabulous. Now, we're just about there actually. We're just still keeping it moving because we don't want it to burn. You might get a bit that sticks to the bottom of the wok. That's pretty much comes part and parcel because I just don't have that wonderful skill where they sort of make the wok flip about. I just can't do that. I'm not that coordinated. Now, the last ingredient is, commonly, soy sauce. Now, 
Some people have different philosophies about how much you should add. I like to add a fair amount for two reasons. One, I like the flavour of the soy sauce and how it brings a beautiful flavour. Um, some people like to add just a little bit to colour the rice so it makes it look nice and brown. And then they put it on the table and allow people to add extra if they wish. But it all depends on who you're feeding. If you're making it for people who like a nice soy sauce flavoured fried rice, then go nuts. Add a bit more. Because I know my crowd. <laughs> oh wow, you guys, I wish this had sort of like a smell of vision sort of option on this because it smells incredible. You've got that beautiful onion, bacon, um, shrimp flavour to it. You can smell the vegetables. They're absolutely fabulous, this. Right, we're just about there. And so all you really need to do now is just to keep it moving until the vegetables are all heated through, everything's nice and hot. This is looking absolutely fabulous. I think we're just about ready to plate up. And here we have our fabulous fried rice. Absolutely delicious and hot out of the wok. Now, it may not be the prettiest meal in the universe, but my God, is it the tastiest. There's just nothing better than fried rice fresh out of the wok. The smell is incredible. You've got those delicious bits of the omelette and the bacon and you can see the little coral flecks all through it. That's the beautiful little prawns, the shrimp. And of course, we've got our extra soy sauce, should anybody want a little bit extra. Lovely. And that's it. A taste of the takeaway at a fraction of the price. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other recipes at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.